How's it going guys? Roddy Walker here. Today we're going to be going over tutorial and this is going to be quite simple. I wouldn't even call it tutorial, I'll call it more of like a review. Uh, and I'm at Red Giant's website and we're going to be going over Universe. Now, I'm sure some of you guys have heard of Universe before. Now, Universe is a brand new software. Um, just came out not too long ago. Uh, and basically what it is, it's a list of plugins. This is a third party plugin. The uh, reason why I'm showing it to you is because Red Giant does make some really great products. Uh, most of them are on the spendy side. Now this one is only $99 a month. And that, you know, that's his regular price for academic students. You can get it for 49, I mean $99 a year, excuse me. Um, $49.50 is for academic students. So, I mean, if you're in college, you're a student like that, you will get it for a cheaper price. Or you can just do $20 a month. Um, in all honesty, for, for the way like plugins and everything are going right now, that is really cheap. It is really cheap. And it even they even give you little promotions. Like when I bought it for Christmas, I think I spent 40 bucks for a year thing because I got a deal for Christmas. So if you wait for holiday specials and stuff like that, you can even get it for cheaper. Um, real quick, if you wanna watch, this is kind of um, a little sample video of them using it. It has so many different motion graphics, effects, little things you can use. So um, it is very useful and it can become a very useful tool when editing your videos. It can bring a lot of value to your videos. So, I mean, at that price point, you will be able to get a lot out of it. So, I mean, I do recommend this to filmmakers who are taking their journey a little bit more serious, maybe doing some client work, wedding work. It will help in the long run. It has a bunch of different plugins that, um, basically a bunch of different people that work on different plugins and they're basically all going to uh, contribute. So, um, it's pretty cool. And, you know, there'll be updates, you'll get new plugins and stuff. So, um, I really um, encourage you guys to check this out. Now, I already have it, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into Adobe Premiere over here, and I'll just, you know, import just some footage, and let's see here, let me just grab some footage down. Let's see, where's my, oh, whoops, desktop. So, why don't I grab, I'll just grab some footage uh, from a music video I shot and you know we can kind of test it out and see a little bit how these plugins work and stuff because I don't just want to you know go over I want I want you guys to see the how useful um, this program actually is so that's why I'm actually giving you a little fill so you can actually see a little bit more so this is the first clip. I'll go ahead and throw the second clip in there just because there's transitions. So you're just gonna go over to your effects panel um, and right off the bat, you can go into video effects and scroll down. You're gonna see now you have all these universe plugins. So we'll just go through a couple real quick right here. Uh, you got universe blur, uh, pretty self-explanatory, you put it on drag it in the clip, you're going to get a blur shot. So um, go over to effects here, turn up the blur. Now you see the blur working. So I mean, you already have blurs uh, built into your other one, uh, but these are specific ones built from them. I'm sure it's much more high quality. Ones I'm really using is chromatic aberration because it does give you this cool look for like a music video look. Uh, you know, messing with the lens and stuff. So cool things like that, you know, you can get cool effects, stuff like that. So that's a nice plugin. You can mess around with them, make them your style. So that's a really big one, especially if you're a music video, like uh, if you're making music videos for like clients and stuff, that's a huge one right there that you're gonna want. Heatwave is another huge one. It makes it look like things are hot, like there's flames. So I mean, if you want to do special motion graphics, it can work in music videos, just about anything. Heatwave is another great one that they have. I've been using this RGB separation as well. 
Um, it's just kind of a cool little other option. It separates the RGB and then you can get kind of weird looking images as well. So I do think that that's also a great asset. These are all tools that you can add to your tool belt when you're filmmaking. So, I mean, just keep that in mind. Like people got to know the value of this and why you'd want to spend on something like this. These are pretty cool, Bractyl Noise. Now you got to get kind of more into these to kind of learn how they work and stuff. Uh, that one you can like make smoke and stuff. You got your gradient ramp. Uh, so those are all kind of stuff that you could do when you're blending and stuff. Uh, sorry, turbulence noise is what does the smoke. Uh, I'm gonna show this glow effect uh, just so you guys can kind of see that as well too. That glow effect's pretty sweet. You get presets as well. So I mean, you can go above and beyond. Like let's say I want to do this split add one because I like the look of that one. Add that on. And now I have that glow effect and it changed a little bit. So uh, you can choose between different presets with a lot of these. Uh, another cool one I kind of want to show you guys is, uh, let's see, where is it? Um, let's go over to motion graphics there. Let's see. So HUD components, HUD components are cool too. Uh, that's going to give you anything from like, you know, Tony Stark, Iron Man looking like HUD grids. You can choose from presets, you can do stuff like that. So that's pretty neat as well to uh, customize it as well. Uh, what I'm really looking for right now though is, let's see here, there, here it is, the Hall of Matrix. So if you're a huge Star Wars fan, this is this one's for you. Uh, basically it's gonna create a hologram for you. So you can choose the preset, choose which one you want it to look like, and it will change it. Uh, this isn't the best clip to do this effect on, honestly. Uh, it probably would actually work better on this clip. Let me see if, let me drag that on and see if that looks any better. Uh, okay, so choose. Let's just choose default. So, I mean, another big thing is you're gonna wanna crop you know, around the edges as well too. But I mean, it does still look pretty good as well. So I mean, if you need to mess around with it, you can get it to look the way you want to with like the holograph effect and stuff. Um, and you can blend it back in and stuff. So I mean, there's a there's a ton of stuff you can do with it. Uh, and you, you do need to kind of mask around it if you're gonna do that, but I'm not gonna go into that because I'm going over the whole thing, you know? You also got this glitch effect, you know, lo people love glitches these days. So, I mean, that's another huge, you know, effect for like music videos and stuff. So you got that. Uh, you got some really cool lighting stuff too, that you can also like add in there too. So, I mean, that's just a little light thing you can add. You got presets that you can put them on too. So, I mean, sparkles, a, a neat one as well. Circles is too. Uh, and it's just kind of giving you that um, that extra lens flare kind of look as well. So that's that's pretty neat as well. Let me go ahead and cut that off. I'll cut this one off too. Uh, but um, as you guys see, there's some pretty valuable stuff in here. Retrograde, you can put retrograde in there and then you get an old school kind of look and stuff. So I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of neat things on here. Uh, you can go VHS, it'll give you a VHS kind of look. Uh, I know that there's some stuff in here kind of that they use like in Breaking Bad and stuff and like stuff like that to create like title sequences and stuff. So that's another cool one. Let's, let's go ahead and jump over to, uh, let's see here, utilities. So camera shake, let's see what that looks like. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna look pretty sweet. Yeah, so I mean that looks pretty sweet. You see it moving the, the frame as well. Um, I like using that as a transition because they, they, they have a tons of different effects. This is a fish eye fixer look. So I mean, that's gonna give you a fish eye look just from doing a plug-in. Pretty neat. Uh, that, that, that effect alone is pretty sweet. Picture in picture. So you got a picture in a picture pretty self-explanatory. Um, let's just go over to video transitions and let's make our way over to universe transitions. 
So camera shake, like I said, I love using this one when I'm making, uh, when I'm like doing the, uh, the effect for the transition. Hold on. Insufficient media, the transition will repeat frames. What are you telling me, computer? You're just telling me you're gonna make, it. okay, so what it's telling me right now is, uh, let's see. I think it's just kinda not enough space to do this. Let me see if I can maybe make this clip a little bit longer. Oh, that's, I guess that's the full length. Oh well, uh, I'll still kind of show you, but you kind of saw how that effect looked. Let me just see, let's see. So that's the channel blur right there. It's another cool effect. Camera shake is my favorite one. Blinds, I'm pretty sure that's the flip, or that's the, yep. It kind of like flips in like that. So that's another cool one. Uh, and I'm sure you guys get bored of like the built-in transitions, because I know I do, especially when editing music videos. So I mean, these are these are just good alternatives. And uh, this one right here, I used a lot for like movie stuff, because it just does such a smooth little, uh, they call it a dolly fade. So I mean, it's just clean, clean fades, clean cuts. Uh, it's gonna give you all that. Here's the glitch one. So if you wanna do a glitch transition, boom. You got a glitch one right there. Half light, I've done this one before. This just gives you a light that's kind of cool. Um, and uh, another one I like to show is the null light transition. This is, just gives you kind of like a light that runs through the screen, kind of like a, a lens flare. I used it for like a spaceship effect in one video. Pretty neat. Um, let's see here, any other ones worth showing? Um, well, uh, there's still some good ones worth showing, but I'm probably just gonna keep it like that for now. I just really wanted to give you guys kind of an oversight, see if this is something that you'd want to use. Uh, there's obviously plenty of tools in here I didn't use, but uh, I'd say that's probably the a good example for you so you can kind of have a good idea as well. Um, also, if you're wanting to learn more, just go on their website, you know, go to like what's new, um, another thing I think I went to as well is I went to tools and that's how I decided I wanted these because I was able to go through them and see every single tool that they did like that finisher effect that can fix DSLR footage which is what most of us are shooting in. Uh, and you can see I'm kind of learning still um, what they got. That's that uh, chromatic aberration effect that I really love. So just all these different types of effects, have fun, check them out, see if you like them. Uh, but yeah, I just really wanted to make sure that you guys get it. This is also a big, huge one. Uh, it's unmute, um, which is basically being able to, you know, take the alpha channel of the image in a black background and use it to composite it. So you will no longer have to worry about it. You know, it will kind of turn it into um, pre-keyed element, which is pretty nice. Uh, so you got tons of things to work with and they're still adding things on remember that too guys so you might want to pick this up um, it is red giants cheapest product by far so I guarantee or I, I, re I really recommend you get this before it changes um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end on that note because I don't want to waste your guys time um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video please put a thumbs up or subscribe as well if you can uh, just to kind of help us out we're trying to grow our channel um, anyways hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial have a great rest of your day R&D we are out